let's check out some software modeling for pumps and pumping system and pipe systems and what I want to tell you is that you can either model those uh, with basic modeling or you can use intensive modeling, whatever you want depends on the application you're doing for example if you are doing a chemical plant you just need to know how much goes in, how much goes out, how much power requirement is how what will be the temperature increase and basic stuff like that if you want to design a pump or see what is diameter is better, the impeller size and the better angle and so on you will probably like to do an intensive modeling typically SOLIDWORKS, COMSOLING and other such as that and obviously I'm not going to show you how to use this software but I want you to show an idea on how does this software work so for example here you have the pump the, then you choose the inlet, the outlet, the fluid package you're going to use and the energy inlet for instance you could use a worksheet or a performance and talk about dynamics you will then let, use the units you want to model and the head of the system and so on and look at this, you have one pump here you can see the inlet, you can see the outlet and if you double click this they will show you the total heat load due to the temperature rise and the total workload used if you wanted to use that uh, pump requirement or pump system and the good thing is that then where, where are these pumps right here, this one you can use plenty of pumps well, right now I see one, two but the thing here is that instead of doing one by one by one you can model many of them at the same time and that's the power of software modeling now console I told you this is for intensive modeling for example if you want to know the temperature profile or you want to know the pressure profile for example at the end here there are high pressures velocity profile as well maybe you want to calculate the radiant on mass which we didn't saw here but it's also important if you're mixing or agitating material this will definitely have a gradient of mass you can use many I think this is very very scientific that or engineering one you need to know how to use it this is not that friendly or user friendly look at this you can use even concentric tubes and all that is very specific you can use SOLIDWORKS in order to calculate I don't know maybe force or pressure being applied and if it's going to bend what's the temperature profile what's the strength what's the stress and so on I haven't been using SOLIDWORKS recently this is more for the mechanical engineers I think this is or industrial designers chemical engineers are not that into this type of modeling look at this, they model how the fluids will fluid around and stress, sizes, material and so on also here goes a pump, how it goes from here, from the eye and then goes here and outlet you can model how fluid goes in and how it's ex it's radially going through the edges and then high pressure right here and that's essentially everything on software modeling I wanted to show you guys of course I'm not going to explain you how to use it but I think it's good to know that there are plenty of programs and software that you can use in order to model uh, whatever needs you know uh, you need for example you need to know velocity or velocity uh, no, velocity or temperature you have it right here you want to model sizes and strength material and so on you have it right here you want to model I don't know maybe uh, velocity profiles or pressure profiles you have it right here you want to model simple work inlet of, pro, uh, of, of processes do it right here so that depends of course also in the application you are going to do and yeah essentially that was all the software I wanted to show you this was a free preview you want to get full access go to my incompressible flow course the link is in the description of the video you will get all access, not only that, you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance if you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here the pump block, then you have the sections if you were 
for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps the video is right here if you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here centrifugal pumps which is a very important topic in this course you have it right here